what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here we're going to be talking about the scream franchise in this video here again today as you see on your screen this is going to be about a scream spinoff that has not officially been announced but production weekly has proven themselves to be reliable in the past and they have in fact gotten one big report about a project that was coming before the reputable trades reported on it and i'll get that get into that in a second but it says untitled scream spinoff a spinoff of the scream franchise centering on hayden pantier's character special agent kirby reed the sole teenage survivor of the second woodsboro murders known as the woodsboro massacre remake the highly the highest body count and most violent massacre of all Ghostface killing sprees. Now, this appeared in the latest listing of Production Weekly. Shout out to UK for sending this my way. I do want to start off by saying that if this is true, this would confirm what I was saying months ago. Daniel RPK months ago put out a report over on their Patreon that Spyglass had plans of continuing the franchise via TV shows and spinoffs and other movies. Now, I expanded upon that and revealed that one of the things I had heard coming out of what was planned with Scream 7 was to set up a Kirby Reed TV show. Now, if we don't get a TV show, it seems that those plans are still being put into motion if we're going to get a spinoff film. The other important thing that people have noticed is that it says Outer Banks Entertainment which is Kevin Williamson's production company, and it does nothing to list Spyglass. But why is that? Well, here's the thing. It's a very weird situation with the rights when it comes to these six movies. But if you remember, Lionsgate owns the rights to Scream 4. Spyglass owns the rights to Scream 1, 2, 3, 5, and 6. So, Kirby, being a product of a character from Scream 4 means that i would assume if i'm going down the right path Lionsgate has some sort of rights to the character not spyglass and what could happen is this could be how spyglass is not involved because of the fact that this is a spinoff to a film they don't have rights to but what you could also end up in a situation of is you could end up in a situation where this Scream spinoff has nothing to do with Ghostface. It could just be a FBI type of film centered on Kirby Reed investigating a specific type of crime and it's set in the Scream universe. And the way they get you to show up is just by keeping Ghostface involved in the marketing, having brief mentions of Ghostface, but it's not going to be about tracking down a Ghostface. However, you could also have a film in which Ghostface is very prevalent. I could see a cult angle playing out in which you have a film centered on the character of Kirby Reed tracking down a Ghostface cult. Maybe it's the same cult that is linked to characters Greg and Jason that we first met in Scream 6. Maybe we get an entire film that kind of gives a background on Jason and Greg and reveals that they were part of a Ghostface cult. Perhaps this film could even be set before Scream 6. And what you could have done is you could tell a story that involves Kirby tracking down a Ghostface cult that was active in Atlanta. And the two remaining members were Jason and Greg, who made their way to New York. And that's why she showed up in Scream 6. So you could give us a movie like that in which a Kirby spinoff film just builds up to her return to the main story in Scream 6. Or, of course, you could do a sequel that's set after Scream 6, Scream 7, whatever you want to do with Kirby Reed at that point. But... If we get this movie, it would confirm what we have been hearing from myself and Daniel RPK. Now, I will also point out the concern about this being unreliable or not being true. It hasn't been confirmed. You're correct. It's not confirmed yet, so therefore it's not official. However, one thing that Production Weekly has gotten right before the reputable trades even reported on it was their listing of the One Tree Hill show. One Tree Hill just got announced to be getting revived. Now, days after it showed up in Production Weekly, that's when the trade started reporting on it. So like I mentioned, even though they're third party, they clearly have access to reliable databases and they make sure to, to at least do their due diligence to make sure everything is credible, reputable, and then they publish it. That's not to say that they aren't wrong sometimes because of course, like anything that tries to be reputable, sometimes things are wrong even the more major reputable trades, they're more likely to not be wrong, but sometimes they're wrong. So I do want to say that it is possible that this is true. We just haven't gotten the confirmation yet. We could get the confirmation later this week. You could get it in a few months. You could get, could get it tomorrow. You could get it by the, before the time 
this video is even uploaded. You could have it before I even decide to upload it. <laughs> but just for anyone out there who is doubting it, it does not mean that it's not true just because it's not being reported yet. Production Weekly did have the scoop on the One Tree Hill show. So it's possible they could have the scoop on this Kirby project. So if Spyglass is not involved, I know a lot of you would love to go see this film because Spyglass is who we all want gone. Not all of us, but those of us who have been just experiencing and following the process of it, it becomes exhausting. And me personally, I want them gone because I don't have confidence that this won't happen again. And when I say this, I just mean another problem. You had a problem with Nev. You had a problem with Melissa. I don't have confidence that you won't have a problem with someone else in the future. So I just want you gone. Now, you could argue it's very coincidence. I still just want them gone. I want them gone. I want them to sell the rights. But if we're not going to get that done, this is a loophole, possibly, because with Screen 4 being owned by Lionsgate, this opens the door to Kevin Williamson's company, Outer Banks, being able to produce a Kirby Reed spinoff, possibly in partnership with Lionsgate. And that will be how we get a screen film that everyone who has a problem with spyglass will want to go out and support and it'll have kirby reed played by hayden pantier who i hope is doing well i saw that interview with her and i hope she can find some peace in her life because she didn't seem to be all that there i don't know why they even published an interview like that to be quite honest it was a little bit disturbing to see them exploit her in a way something about it just wasn't right there were reports from her team claiming she was fine and that she's sober but i i still would have that scrubbed if she want if she's fine having it up that's that's fine that's her something about the interview though just has a lot of people upset they were, they're calling for her to be pulled and hopefully if she is going to be back in the scream universe she can come back with a clear state of mind and hopefully come to terms with what happened to her brother unfortunately because that obviously is going to take a toll on anyone so i hope she can find some peace and try to look forward to this revival of her career let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and never miss video in the description i have links to all my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next week